not let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also. We shall wear a crown. In my father's house, we shall wear a crown. They were not so. I would have thought. I go down to prepare a place. unto myself that where I am there ye may be also and whither I go ye know and the way ye know and I said unto him Lord we know not where thou goest how can we know the way he has said unto him I am from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all died, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But some men will say, how the dead raised With what body do they come? All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men. Another flesh of beasts, another of fish, another of birds. There are also celestial bodies, and the bodies of terrestrials. But the glory of the celestial is one. Also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption, but it is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor, but it is raised in glory. It is sown in a natural body, but it is raised in a spiritual body. There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, made a living soul with the last man uh, a quickening spirit. First man is of the earth, earth. Second man is of the Lord, from heaven. As the earth is, such are they also on earth. As is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. As we have borne the image of the earth, we shall also bear the image of the earth. We so say, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, but he also in me. In my Father's house are many men. Although it not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And the way you go, come up to the Lord. We know not whither thou goest. How can we know the way? I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I heard David say, The Lord is my shepherd. 
Let the church say amen. Amen. Amen again. Amen. Amen for the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let's tell God thank you right now. Amen. God, yes. Tell God thank you. For the life to the mother Francis Stevens. Amen, somebody. Amen. My math served me correctly. Almost 100 years old. Amen. Is God good? God is good. This is a celebration. God's grace and His mercy. Family, we love you. You know that. You don't have to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. We love you. Centennial loves you deeply. This community loves you deeply. And they love Mother Francis. Amen. 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 The program is outlined, and at this time we have a selection from Sweetville and Cedar Hill Choir. Amen. Amen.
tell my story. Yes, sir. Yes. Tell me all about it. When my trouble's over, oh, yes, sir. he shall wear yes, sir. a golden crown. Oh, yes. Each Sunday oh, yes, sir. here at Centennial, oh, yes. we have prayer for the community and for those who are going through, those who are sick and shut. Yes, and every Sunday for mm. years now, one of her children called her name in the atmosphere. Amen. We will begin to pray for those names and those people that were called, whether I knew them or not. Yes. We pray for their strength yes. and God's grace and his mercy. Amen. So Mother Stevens, your name is called one more time in the atmosphere. We're going to pray. Amen. 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 So if you will, let us pray. Father, we come today. We come with thanksgiving in our hearts. We come, God, because we have no way else to turn but to you. When our tears are flowing, when our hearts are aching, when confusion might be in our minds, we know to turn to you. <clears throat> so today we turn to you for strength. We turn to you for comfort. We turn to you, God, for reassurance that everything, everything, everything is well. So I believe today that when you call Mother Frances thing, you let her know at that moment in that time that all is well. So God, thank you now. Thank you for reassuring the children that all is well. Thank you for reassuring the grandchildren that all is well. Thank you for reassuring the great grandchildren all is well. All is well with her soul. So today is a day of rejoicing. Because God you have assured us that all is, all is well. God comfort the family in this hour. Strengthen them once again, God. Let them know that you made no mistakes. That everything you do is right and perfect. So God, we put the family in your hands once again. To lift them up, strengthen them, and guide them. And when tomorrow comes, and mama is not where she once was, Speak to them softly in the morning, in the late, in the midnight hour. And let them know that now she sits at the feet of Jesus. And all is, all is well. God, we thank you in your son Jesus' name. Let every heart say, Amen. Old Testament scripture reading will be coming from Psalms 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies, and my foes came up to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. 
Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. That one thing I have desired of the Lord, that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. I read for you the Psalms 27, 1 through 4. May God bless the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. New Testament scripture by Reverend Bobby Harris.
all of us are trying to get those wings. Now here he is, the dressing up room. That's right. Amen, somebody? Amen. This time in the program, we have that moment where each of you can participate. Well, let me rephrase that. Some of you can participate. Amen. And the family has been very kind. They said two minutes, please. They didn't just say two minutes. They said two minutes, please. So they're asking that you be obedient. Amen. This time, remarks from friends, family, and loved ones. Two minutes, please. I got something I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with you all, but I ain't been known to so long as some of the only other characters you care And I haven't been known so long as some of the other people that didn't send But I was there from the last moment, so she left. And I just go in all the time. I just want to let it y'all, she was so happy all the time, like, even when I'm at my worst, I'm in that I'm able, and I'm able, you know what I'm saying? So, like, she touched me in a short amount of time that I had to spend with her. It was awesome. Like, even at the end, she was still had her hand up, praise God, at the end. At the end, still smiling at the end. I'm talking about this, this is it. Still waving and smiling and carrying on. Like, that's where I want to get it. That's where I want to get it. You know? right. Like, and I have no fear in it no more because I feel like everything's going to be all right. Oh, she made me feel like that. You know, I'm sorry, friends. <laughs> <laughs> she made me feel like that. I, like, I mean, I feel a little more like, I mean, I, I was going through a lot, but it, it's just to see how she is, like the last, you know, how she would, everything just. I don't know, she still was like strong and I always smile like me and friends, but she like coming in the morning time. Good morning, me and friends, she smiles like, ill, ill. I'm like, oh goodness, okay. And then I say to her, and we'll have our little breakfast, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in, I miss her, I'm in her, and I enjoy the family, the ones I did meet. Um, they might know. She's such a sweetheart, they yeah. But yes, I, I enjoyed the little moment that I did spend with her. Like I said, she always smiling at her, like, always, and look good. I told her, I don't know what kind of water y'all drink. <laughs> all y'all look good. <laughs> I was talking about how y'all, the ages, oh my goodness, what is it? <laughs> I came in out ready to talk about what I, what I heard. We praised it. Let me tell you what I heard. She be ready for gospel too, y'all. <laughs> she be ready for it. She be, she be with now. <laughs> and that was my girl. When she came out, came home. I, she was on the, on the bed, I said, my friends, I got something. She was gone for three days. I said, my friends, I got something to tell you. <laughs> she was on the bed, still smiling, laughing, giggling, laughing. I said, look at you, Red Bull, ain't you? <laughs> so I got in the room, y'all. I'm talking about, I had some time with her. Not no bad time, either. Good time. I don't get in my fault, but yeah. <laughs> Francis, Miss Ida Newkirk, oh, my buddy, she was 
always on the move. I ain't gonna let no grass grow around my feet. <laughs>
I know he does. And she's going to be truly missed. But she always called me her speed bag. Some people know the, the, the story behind the whole sweet baby thing, and I don't think I have to go there with Miss Barbara and Miss Lou and them, but um, she's just still going to be really, truly miss. And I'm here for y'all. behalf of the family to let everybody know it is not a sad time. My grandma loved the Lord. She was a soldier for the Lord. So right now everybody be smiling because she don't know. You know what I mean? It ain't trying to be sad. I know the kids should be sad. They lost their mom, but I'm so happy. I will go with joy in my heart this morning. And I know my family like, oh, but she better get up. No, 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 no. Hallelujah. Amen. 
We got one more hand. We're going to let the brother speak, and then we're going to move right along. Family, is that okay? Amen. Amen.
time we would have a selection by Ms. Renee McKinney.
that you have done in all of our lives. Thank you for allowing your Holy Spirit to be in our presence. So we're asking you now, Jesus, that you will de decrease Donnie. Yes, yes. You do all of the increase. Yes, Most of all, give us all hope and determination. Yes. Keep learning to see what the end is going to be. Yes. Keep watch over the family. Continue to allow them to lean on you. Yes. As the days and months and years roll by. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. For allowing this mother, this sister, to come out of the rest. Verse 11 will be our concentrated verse when you 
get home and on your leisure time, go back and read this. There's much in it, much that is said by some. Verse 10 read, when wisdom entered into thy heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. Discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee. Yes, sir. Amen? Amen. <clears throat> we'll use a little simple topic, preserve me. Preserve me. Must Jesus bear the cross alone? And all the world go free? No, there's a cross for everyone. There is a cross for me. I like the third, third standard part. It say the consecrated cross I bear. Yes, sir. And the Lord all right? Till death shall set me free. Ain't the Lord all right? Then go home. My crown to wear. For there is a crown for me. Ain't the Lord all right? She bear her cross. Ain't the Lord all right? And all of us must bear our cross. No matter what may take place in the day. Huh? Ain't the Lord all right? See, in the dash, we have to bear some burdens. In the dash, we be talked about. In the dash, we be misunderstood. Ain't the Lord all right? But long as I keep bearing my cross, everything gonna be all right. Jesus said, let a man deny himself. Ain't the Lord all right? He said, you got to take up your cross. Ain't he all right? You ain't anybody in here taking up their cross? Are you following Jesus? Ain't he all right? We have to take up our cross. And we have to bear it daily. Peter said we have forsaken all to follow thee. Yes. Ain't the Lord all right? Yes. Sometimes you have to forsake your mother. Yes. Sometimes you have to forsake your brother mm -hmm. and your sister yes. to follow Jesus. Yes. But there is a reward mm -hmm. when we follow Jesus. Yes. Yes. But notice now, notice, notice, bro Johnny James. He really did the unity. Right. He summed it up. Yes, sir. And one little thing. He said, we got to stay together. Amen. Ain't the Lord all right? Yes. No matter how many hellhounds come your way, you got to stay together. Jesus said in his commandment, he said, you are, you are no my disciples. Ain't the Lord all right? Yeah. By the love That's right. that we give one another. Yeah. Them the two greatest commandments that it is that we love ye one another. Yeah. Yeah. Cell phones going off the bed. <laughs> <laughs> My 
is also its culture, especially in our speech. All of us have a freedom to make one own decision. Yes. Ain't the Lord all right? Yes. Yes. Solomon was saying that wisdom come from God. That's right. Ain't the Lord all right? That's right. And he, God, talks about wisdom. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But it's what we want to take from that passage. If you want discretion, you will humble yourself. You will allow the Holy Spirit uh -huh. to take control yes. of your life. Right. What we used to will raise hell that right. you won't raise hell no more. Right. <laughs> Ain't the Lord all right? Yeah. What you used to didn't love that, you will want to love more. Yeah. Ain't the Lord all right? Yeah. As we just keep we must all know some things in this life journey. Yes, sir. We must know how to keep on riding out our storm. Yes. Yes. That's been 15 years ago when I first came to Sweetfield. One Wednesday, mother walked in out of the clear blue. She said, Pastor, hold on and ride out your stone. <laughs> Ain't the Lord all right? Yes. That kind of stayed with me. Yes, sir. But on the other evening, God gave me more revelation of holding on and riding out your stone. Yes, sir. Ain't the Lord all right? Yes, sir. As we look at this proposition we that is before us, let it help us to discuss and develop, improve, and explain what we need to do. Because in this life's journey, we got to know how to hold on and be preserved. Ain't the Lord all right? Can't nobody tell it like David. David said, I waited patiently. Yes, Ain't the Lord all right? Yes. See, it's a difference when you wait patiently and just waiting. Yes, right. Ain't the Lord all right? Yes. I can wait for just a short period of time. And I think that I have got over my storm. But as I look at it, my storm is still brewing in my life. But when I wait patiently uh -huh. on the Lord, Unto me, yes. and he will hear our cry. Yes, sir. Ain't the Lord all right? Not only will he hear our cry, but he, David said he brought me up. Yes. Also out of a horrible pit. Huh? Yes. Ain't the Lord all right? He brought me out of the miry clay. Yes. Ain't the Lord all right? And he set my feet upon a rock. Mr. Paul, I love David, say he established my going. Yes. Won't God do it? Yes, he will. Won't he pick you up? Yes, he will. Won't he turn you all around? Yes, sir. Ain't the Lord all right? Yes. But let us keep our mind on Jesus. Yes. I'm glad that I know a man <laughs> that he will preserve all our going. I'm glad that I came in time with a man that's called Jesus. He is my life. He is my salvation. He will take care of us. Family, hold on to God's unchanging hand. He is our author and finisher of our faith. As I get ready to take this seat, there was a man by the name of John. Ain't he all right? Yes. He was led up in the spirit in an island that's called Paris. Ain't the Lord all right? Yes. John was with the elders. John said he seen a number mm. that no man could know. He seen the 12 tribes of Israel. And it was 12,000 in each tribe, which was 100. 
and 44,000. Yes, Did John say he looked? Yes, sir. Ain't the Lord all right? Yes, sir. He said he looked yes, sir. and he saw another number yes, that no man could number. <laughs> the elders say, stay with the Holy Ghost. The elders say, who, who are you? Yes, Lord <laughs> Who are these? John say, you already know who are these. These are they that had to bow their blood in the heat of the day. These are they that been through trial and tribulation. These are they that come up on the left side of the mountain. Ain't it all right? These are they that can bow their blood in the heat of the day. Sure, 
good time. That is tight. That's right. Ain't the Lord all right? That's right? So in other words, when the Holy Ghost, yeah. Lord have mercy, yeah. start coming in your life, yeah. you have to keep tightening up, Brother Johnny. Yeah. You have to keep tightening your tight. Yeah. Ain't the Lord all right? Yeah. Oh, we don't dot all our eyes and we don't cross all our teeth. But when we stay with Jesus, that's what Mother did. Yeah. Mother won the best of education like me. But ha huh, culture, that's all right. Huh? You see, when you stay with Jesus, yes, yes. He'll preserve it. Yes. David, can't nobody take it like David. Huh? I know everybody don't like me, but you can't do nothing about it. I'm going to preserve it. I'm preserved. Ain't he all right? God did do some things. God did some things. But when I found salvation, when I found salvation, it rescued me. It restored me. And every day, Brother Father, it's renewing me. It's study renewing me. Every day. Yesterday, my life today. Ain't the Lord all right? Because Jesus said, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He'll never change. Preserve me. May God bless you. And may heaven. Keep smiling upon you. Thank you. for Sweet, Sweetville Missionary Baptist Church of Foot of Coolidge, Georgia. Whereas it has pleased Almighty God to summon his death angel to come down and to bring the soul of a loyal, devout, and devoted Christian. Whereas the Heavenly Father, in fulfillment of his word, has anointed that man, that appointed that man must die. And when the death angel of Christ shall, shall come, all in dead shall rise who died in the Lord, and they shall live forever with him. Whereas death is a sweet response, it is the gateway to the everlasting life for those who believe in the Lord and is kept by his faith. Be it resolved that, that we bow in humble submission that our Heavenly Father, whose will was to remove from our ranks Mother Frances Stevens, be it further resolved that we as Christians Strive to emulate the beautiful life yes. and work of the Lord, of the deceased, that we shall all be ready to walk the Milky Way together. Yes. Yes. Be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution 
will be given to the family and a copy placed among the permanent records of the church. Done this 30th day of March in the year of 2024, signed by the pastor, Elder Donnie Hopkins, and missionary Betty Mitchell, church secretary. Amen. 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 Let every heart say amen, 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 amen. and amen. amen. Song says, because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. You see, he lets me rest in the meadows grass, and he leaves me beside the quiet stream. He restores my failing health, and he helps me to do what honors him the most. And that's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. That is why I'm safe. I'm safe in his arms. And if it does your heart good to know almost after a hundred years of toils and snares of this earth, the soul of our dearly departed, Mother Frances Stevens, is safe in the Lord's arms, then please join me in giving her memory a round of applause at this time. has been blessed. They've been blessed by your phone calls, your visits, your uplifting and kind words, your thoughts, and your memories shared. But most importantly, this family has been blessed with your prayers. See, we believe that prayers will change all things. And the Bible teaches us that the prayer of the righteous availeth much. So if you believe that in your hearts, we ask that you continue to pray for this family as they continue to pray one for another. Because truly a family that prays together will stay together. Amen. Amen. We thank God for the message. And truly we thank God for the message. Please join me in giving Pastor Dunny Hopkins a round of applause. For <laughs> And may heaven ever shine upon you is the family and the Stevens McGee staff prayer. Amen. We thank God for the angel of this house, Dr. Todd Casey. May God bless you always, my cousin. May heaven ever shine upon you. Amen. Amen. We thank God for. Reverend Bobby Harris for being on the tennis for today again. And God continue forever bless you with our prayers as well. Amen. Amen. We thank God for the Sweet Field and Cedar Hill combined choir singing from their hearts on today. Amen. God bless you, God. And Paradise. Amen. Thank God for the combined choir. Amen. Singing from their hearts. Amen. 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 We thank God for the musician on today. Amen. 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 From his heart. Amen. We thank God for the soloists, for each and every one who helped this homegoing service be a special one or a special someone. We cannot say thank you enough and we bid you all Godspeed. For those who are joining us via live stream, the family feels your support as well and their prayers that God forever shine upon you. Amen. And although the family may not stand to thank each of you individually, I stand on today to thank each of you collectively. May God bless you and may heaven ever shine upon you. Is the family and the Stevens McGee staff prayer. Amen. 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 Lord, I don't feel no ways tired. 
I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. But after 99 years and a half of longevity, I just don't believe he brought me this far to leave. Amen. 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 We pause at this time to honor the life, the love, the respect, the memory, and the powerful legacy of Mrs. Frances Stevens. When I say legacy, for those of you that may not believe in the legacy, the bottom of her obituary simply states that not only does she leave her children to cherish her memory, but she also leaves 29 grandchildren, 74 great-grandchildren, and 35 great-great-grandchildren. Let's give a round of applause for the legacy. September 15th, 1924. Sunset, March 19th, 2024. The candles represent all of the honor you hold in your hearts today for your loved one. Although they will be blown out at this time by your Stevens McGee family, we encourage each of you to continue to allow those memories to burn forever in your hearts because we know that memories will heal a broken heart. May God bless and keep you as you continue to cherish the memory of Mrs. Francis Stevens. Yes. Amen. Just the phone call away. 
At this time, it is on behalf of my dad, Mr. Jim McGee Sr., and the entire Stevens McGee Funeral Home staff and family that I remind each of you that weeping may endure for a night, but joy, joy, unspeakable joy, is promised to come in the morning. Let every heart say amen. 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 We have one additional announcement. As we prepare to journey to the Centennial Cemetery for the burial rites, the committal, and the closing, we ask all except the immediate family members to please prepare yourselves for the repast. Because of the road, we do not want anyone to become impaired. Please. God bless you. But if you would, please allow the immediate family to journey towards the cemetery. And they promise to fellowship with each and every one of you back at the repast once the committal rights services have closed out. Once again, may God bless and keep each of you will always be. Amen. Let us stand.